welcome back to my channel. Hello, welcome. Today I am making a video about all of the Dutch pre-master slash Zijinstroom programmas for Geneeskunde, that is medicine. I thought about making this video in Dutch, but my Dutch isn't perfect perfect and I think I feel more comfortable in front of the camera in English. I'm assuming that most of the people that will be watching this are Dutch, but Everybody seems to speak pretty much perfect English in the Netherlands, so I hope this is fine. As an international applicant for Dutch medical schools, I really wish that this sort of video would have been out there. It's going to be an overview of all of the different Zeitenstrom programmas, how to apply, what makes the different schools unique, and that sort of thing. So if you're applying this year, I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope that this video will be helpful to you. So the first thing to go over is what programs there are. So. As far as I know, there are seven schools that really offer this Zeitenstrom programma, and that is the FU, the UFA, both in Amsterdam, Utrecht, Leiden, Groningen, Rotterdam, and Maastricht. So that is seven, yes. And there are some things on the Raadbout, so the Nijmegen website, about a pre-master Geneeskunde, but I feel like it, it might have been discontinued. If someone knows about this, please comment down below, but as far as I know, these are the main ones that are available. What is even the point of these programs? Basically, if you are a person who didn't start studying medicine from bachelor's level, which is sort of how you do it in the Netherlands, you can do a Zeitinstrom programma, and that is a sort of fast-track program where you get your medicine title in four years rather than the regular six. And the way you do this is you apply for one of these pre-masters or Zeitinstrom, that is side entrance program. Although all of them are in Dutch, so if you are an international applicant, you have to be like fluent in Dutch to be able to do this. So these four years, it's usually one pre-master year and three years of the master, or it's four years that are kind of do that all in one. The names of these programs differ. Some of them call themselves a pre-master and some of them have a specific name, like the Maastricht one is called Arztklinisch Untersucher, as an AKO, so they have their own special name. And then the SUMA is the one for Utrecht, it's the Selective Utrecht Medical Master, so it just kind of depends on the school. As I said, they're all language of instruction is Dutch for all of them, and there is a limit for how many times you can apply. You can apply only twice to most of the schools, except for Groningen says that you can apply an unlimited number of times. You can apply to as many schools as you want to at once, so if you wanted to apply to all seven schools in a year, you could. However, if you're applying, you can't really be considered for the regular bachelor medical school application. So this is really for people that have a background in biomedical sciences or something similar and that are now trying to merge that into a career in medicine. I thought first I'd talk about the different schools and what makes each program unique. There isn't a centralized application procedure, they all have different requirements, different timelines, it's pretty annoying, that's why this video is here. Um, so I thought I'd start with the Amsterdam schools, so the UFA. The UFA just started their program again after having taken a break. So last year was the first year it was back up and running, and this year will be the second year. It, they call themselves a pre-master program, so it's a one-year pre-master in which you are sort of caught up to speed about bachelor years one, two, and three of the medical school curriculum in the Netherlands. They made their own curriculum, so it isn't that you attend bachelor lectures, they made their own thing and divided it into different blocks with focuses, you can see it on their website. It's kind of a lot to explain, but basically you do that one year and then if you pass all your exams, you get to move on to the regular UFA master's program. And you still have to wait, so in the Netherlands there's a thing called Wachtzeit in between the bachelor and the master of medicine, and for the UFA currently it says it's between 8 to 14 months, so that's about a year of waiting. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with that Wachtzeit, I find that kind of annoying personally. Um, but yeah, if you have good Wachtzeit ideas, comment those down below as well. So after that one year, you move on to the masters. It's in Dutch, like I said. They don't have a focus in any direction. They really focus on mentorship and your development as a person and your professional skills, that type of thing. The FU, however, the other school in Amsterdam, their program is called SIGMA, which is Zeitinstrom Geneeskunde something something. And that program is four years long. So they don't do a pre-master and a master. They just say, it's a four year program. It's all in one. They have their own curriculum, which covers topics from 
the Bachelor and Master of Medicine in the Netherlands, you end up qualified just like any other school with an MD slash an MSc or a Doctor of Medicine, like just the title of being a doctor. It's all the same for all these schools, by the way. And that school, the FU, the SIGMA program, has a research focus. So they say that they give you extra teaching in research skills, your research internship, which you have to do at any medical school, can be longer in the SIGMA program, and they just, in general, are recruiting people that have a slight more interest in research. The same goes for Utrecht. The Utrecht one is called the SUMA, the Selective Utrecht Medical Master. And there you are qualifying to be an arts under Zucker, so a physician scientist, basically kind of similar to an MD PhD profile in the US, but this is not a PhD program, it's just the MD, with a heavy research focus as well. And what's unique about Utrecht is that your Kauschappe, that is your clinical rotations, take place in one hospital in, it's called the Gelre Ziekenhuis, it's like in outside of Utrecht, and it's that one um, hospital that you do all your rotations in, and while you're doing your rotations, you live there in like dorms with the other students. So that's kind of a unique live-in situation that I think some of the students that go there that I've spoken to really like, but I think it's also a reason for people not to choose that university if that doesn't sound like a good idea to you. Next school is Leiden. So Leiden is another school where you have a pre-master year and then you merge into the regular medical master that's three years long. And they also have a little bit of a research focus in that pre-master year, um, but it doesn't seem like it's quite as big of a deal as at the other schools, mainly just a regular medical school program. Then moving on to Groningen. In Groningen, you also have a pre-master year and then the regular master years. You can apply, apply an unlimited number of times, which is pretty cool. And they don't seem to have too much of a focus in either direction. Then you have Rotterdam. Rotterdam is different because you can only go to the pre their pre-master program if you went to undergrad at the Erasmus University, either as a university college student or as a klinische technologie student, I think, like some specific bachelor's degree. So it's probably not an option for most of the people that are going to be seeing this video, including myself. And the last school I wanted to mention is Maastricht in the south of the Netherlands in Limburg. Really cute, beautiful, tiny city. And they offer another four-year all-in-one program called the AKO, or the Arts Klinis Undersucher program, where you qualify in four years to get an MD with a heavy focus on research and science. So now that I've explained the different schools and what your options are, I wanted to go into how to apply. So application process can seem kind of daunting, so I thought I'd break it down for you. So the overall things that you need to apply for most of the schools differs a little bit, is a CV or a CV form of some sort describing your activities and who you are, that sort of thing, a motivation letter, why you want to do it, why you want to go to that school, kind of basic questions, reference letters, some of the schools require one, two, or no references, and then most of the schools have an interview process, which is the last stage of the application procedure before you get into the program. So I thought I'd talk about the application requirements per school as well. So you can see here the different, I'm looking at my screen right now so I can see as well, but you can see the different uh, requirements for each school. Most schools require you to have a relevant bachelor's degree to qualify for the application, so you can't just be anybody. Most schools say you have to have a biomedical science bachelor's degree or something in that vein. Utrecht just has a bunch of lists like a bunch of course requirements that you have to have taken. They have a long list on their website. Um, Leida also specifies specifically which high school subjects you have to have taken. And Groningen, for example, doesn't require a particular bachelor's degree, but they do require a particular high school subject, so it kind of depends per school. The acceptance rates probably differ a little bit. I get the sense that it's easier to get into Maastricht and Leida than it is to get to the Amsterdam schools, I think just because of the popularity of living in Amsterdam. From the schools that do publish data on this, I found that Groningen has a 10% acceptance rate and the FIE also has about a 10% acceptance rate and the IFA last year had a 13% acceptance rate and it's looking like this year it might be more like 12. So that just gives you a vague idea. It is just hard to get into these programs. The number of spots per year varies from about 20 
spots to 50 spots. Maastricht after 50 spots, Utrecht 40, UFA is going to offer 24 this year, um, FU 24 as well. So yeah, everything around those numbers. And you can see that the only schools that don't require you to do interviews are Groningen and UFA. I have less information on the Rotterdam program. It was harder to find online and also I just think it's less relevant for most of the people applying, like I said, because you have to have gone to Erasmus University for undergrad to be eligible. Unfortunately, most schools also require you to take an admissions exam before you can get accepted. And the exam differs per school. FU and Leide have one exam, so you take one exam and it qualifies for both applications, which is amazing, but all the other ones have their own unique exams with different requirements. Usually it's some sort of textbooks that are from bachelor years one and two of medicine, and you have to basically study up and know all the content, which is honestly a lot of work, but I'll go into that later in this video about how to properly prepare. And the tests generally take place in spring, late February, early March, that sort of thing. And then in the interviews take place like a month later in March and April. And then by about end of April, you know whether or not you have a spot on the program. And then by mid-May, you usually have to have made your decision of whether or not you want to go. And just to recap the deadline to apply, the initial application deadline, whatever that may entail, is either in December for Groningen and UFA or in January for the other schools. After all that information, to recap basically the timeline of your year where you're applying for the Zeitenstrom Geneeskunde program. I have some experience with this and I think the key point is to start studying early for the tests. So some websites claim that you don't need to study for their tests, that you should just know it based on your bachelor's degree knowledge, but I find that that is just not usually often the case. Usually you have to study for these things to know them. So start in about September to study for the tests. So that's about six months before they happen. Um, that should give you enough time to cover the material, I think. And then in mid-January to March, that's really crunch time for the exam. So really like double down your studying in this time. And you'll probably also be taking the tests in the end of February and early March. And then from late March to early April, you have your interview season. And from mid-April to early May, you'll receive your acceptances. And then by mid-May, you accept or reject offers. So you can see it's really like a nine-month process, this whole application thing. Um, I do think it's fair to do this during a gap year and not while you're enrolled in another program. I chose not to do it during my bachelor's or my master's degree because it would have just been too much work for me. But I do know people that did it and got in, so it definitely is possible. A couple extra points that I wanted to add in at this stage is um, a caveat about speaking Dutch. So like I said, all these programs are taught in Dutch and they're really meant for Dutch natives. However, if you are like me and you moved to the Netherlands and you learned to speak Dutch and you want to study in the Netherlands and continue living there and working there as a doctor, you can take the NT22 exam, which is a Dutch language exam. It's kind of expensive, it's kind of a lot of work, but once you do that, it qualifies you to that you have a B2 level of speaking, listening, writing, and reading, and that lets you apply for these medical school programs. So if you're an international applicant with no Dutch passport or, you know, native speaking abilities, you have to take this test. And another point to mention is that you can't switch between the schools, between the pre-master and the master's year. So in general, if you did your pre-master, say at the UFA, you are only qualified to do the master at the UFA. You can't just like go to another school and do the master's there. The only exception to this that I found is Radbaut. So Radbaut on their website says that you can do their medical master if you did either an undergrad regular medicine or you did the pre-master from any other Dutch school. So I don't know if that's true in practice, but it does say it on the website. So that sort of concludes my video on the Dutch pre-master slash Zeitinstrom Geneeskunde medical school programs. I hope this was helpful. I hope you now sort of have an idea of what the application process looks like and the different options that you have. If you have any questions, I'd love to see them in the comments below this video or in a DM on Instagram. You can find my Instagram at le underscore dares to travel. 
thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, whoever you are, wherever you are. Bye!